Are we live? Okay, yes, we are. <laughs> We're live. Hey, good morning and happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. Oh my goodness, I just love December. <laughs> um, and Texas is cooperating with nice chilly weather so I can wear my Christmas wear. <laughs> um, hold on, let me pull up your comments here, see who's uh, with us this bright early morning. Well, I shouldn't say bright, it is overcast, but <laughs> it's still a beautiful morning. Um, so, Ah, fun fold Friday. We are so close to Christmas and I have been doing a lot of Christmas cards and I thought these last few Fridays but going up to at the actual Christmas day, um, I would uh, change up and do uh, something that doesn't need to be mailed off. OK, because your Christmas cards really should have been should be mailed off this week um, if you want to get them there on time. But if you uh, like need a gift card, that's what we're doing today. We are doing a fun pop up gift card holder, not just a boring card with a gift card in it. We got to have something a little more jazzy because um, gift cards tend to be impersonal, but there are good situations where you'll want to give a gift card. Like for instance, uh, your kids, teachers or your uh, grandkids stuff, or uh, you know, a friend or I don't know. Uh, I know I give a lot of Starbucks gift cards out this time of year and uh, and food gift cards out this time of year like our neighbors we always treat them to a dinner um anyways so we're going to do a pop-up and i'm going to show that to you in just a sec uh one more thing though just before we get started and that is don't forget to sign up for my newsletter if you are not on my email list um it's very easy if you're watching on youtube it's in the description below the link, it says newsletter, and there's a link there. And then if you're on Facebook, you can pop over to my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. And let me pull that up for you. Oops, no, not that one. Where is it? Come on. Ah. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, well, um, all the measurements to today's card are on my blog. So there's my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. And uh, you can, uh, there's a little pop-up notice for signing up for my email. Because if you didn't see the emails these past couple of days, uh, we are having a huge sale right now. We have our clearance rack was refreshed. There's tons of paper and stamps and bling. And a lot of it uh, actually is gone because yesterday it opened and people went crazy. And, but I sent an email out to, to let you all know about that. So if you're not on my email, you didn't get that. And then also another thing on my email is my new kit. So I'm going to Go ahead and switch to this view here. Oh, you can see my coffee in the picture. Let me move that over. Um, this is the December kit. It is a star desk calendar. And so it uh, looks like this. And you'll get the PDF to print this calendar off. And so you can make as many as you want. Um, there's enough in the kit uh, card bases to make one of the stars. So it opens like this. And you'll get a little clip to put on here. And then this sits on your desk. And so, you know, I can't really show you how it looks because I've got a bird's eye view. Well, yeah, I can. Um, I see right here. Pull it up here so y'all can see it that way. And it sits on your desk like that. Great gift for your friends um, or yourself. And then the front, well, here, the front, um, you can, it says you make each season of life even more beautiful. And so, and then each uh, three months. So the winter months, um, and I include December and winter. So the December page has the other snowflake. So every three has whatever that, you know, three seashells, three fall leaves, three. Anyways, so um, be sure you're on my email so you get information about that. Or if you didn't get it and you want information, just send me an email, uh, Christina at creating with Christina.com. All right. So let's get on with today. Um, I've spent four minutes talking. Um, I need to get into today's lesson and we're going to make this cute pop-up gift card holder. All right. Now this one's not decorated very much yet. Um, the one I'm going to make with you all, I'm going to decorate it a little bit more, but I want to show you the dimensions first. All right. Get back on there. <laughs> there we go. Don't make your belly band so tight that it's hard to get back on there. All right. Um, First of all, you need some cardstock. So let me grab some cardstock and I want red. Um, here we go. All right. And I need a trimmer. Now, let's see. I don't have my comments up. Hold on. Let me get my comments up. Do, 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 do. 
There we go. There's everybody. Oh, I love it. You all are so awesome for showing up with me every more, um, every time I do this. Y'all are the best. Anna, Jean, Terry, Caprice, Georgina, Kim, Carlos, Vicky, um, Simone, Lisa, Deborah, Kathy, Jan, Tony, Janet, Michelle, Pam, Pam, Pam again, Pam again, Pam saying good morning to everyone. <laughs> I love it. Oh, good morning. You guys are so awesome. Okay. Here is my trimmer and here's my cardstock and I'm going to cut at four and a quarter. You know what? I need to move my coffee so I don't spill it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And I need to zoom out just a wee bit so y'all can see a little better. There we go. So I'm going to go at four and a quarter here and just cut that in half. That's for another one. If you want to make another one. Um, or the belly band, if you want to use that one for the belly band. Next thing is we need to turn it and we're going to cut it down to 10. It's 11 right now, but we're going to make it at 10. Okay. Once I have that cut, then I'm going to cut it at the six inch. Now, um, like I said, all these measurements are going to be on my blog. I didn't get them typed up for the stream yard. Usually I put them down at the bottom and you can go back and write them down. But uh, I didn't I didn't get that done before we started. So um, but they will be on my blog. Here we go. Six inches um, and just cut that. All right. Now you have two different pieces here. You have a larger one and a smaller one. OK, put the smaller one to the side for a sec and let's use the larger one. But move your cutting blade. You need your scoring blade right now. And we're going to score this larger one on the long side here at two inches. Okay, so there's the two inches. And four and three quarters. So almost the five, not quite. We're leaving an inch and a quarter over here. Okay, there we go. Four and three quarters. So there we have that one scored. It's a little blurry, but okay. Now this other piece, the shorter, the smaller piece, has two, has a short side and a long side, okay? The short side, we're putting up against the uh, back here, and we are going to score this at two and three quarters, all right? Two and three quarters, which leaves an inch and a quarter on this side, okay? There we go. Now, one thing you could do before you did all this is you could emboss this paper, okay? Now, uh, if you emboss it after you score it, you may have to go back and rescore it. OK, but it does give the um, the gift card hold, holder a little bit more interest uh, or you can like splatter it with um, ink or you could uh, do a background stamp, just something. So it's just not plain cardstock. All right. There we go. We've got that. Now, what do we need to do? We need to connect the two one and a quarter inch pieces. So now I need to zoom back in. There we go. Okay, and these two one and a quarter sides, we are going to put these together. These are the pieces that hold the gift card. Okay, let me open this gift card back up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so see, there's there it is. We're going to create a little pocket here, okay? It's real simple. I'm using tear and tape. You could use glue, but you definitely want something that's very strong. And you're going to put it on the three sides. So let me get my tear and tape here. You're going to put it on the sides. Okay. Here. Oh, come on. And here. And here. There we go. Okay. And where's my ticket? How we doing? How oh, thank you, Pam, for sharing. The more you all share, the more people find us and join in on the fun. Okay. So I've got my tear and tape here, and I just need to pop this up and get that off. And I use my pick a tool. It's so much easier to get these strips off with a with a piercing tool that just kind of flick it till it peels back and then grab it and pull it off. OK, once you've got that, now we're going to line them up. OK. And stick them together. There we go. Lined up and stuck together. 
Now, if you do not have a uh, one inch punch, and this isn't even a Stampin' Up one, this is just one I got at a craft store because Stampin' Up doesn't sell a one inch punch anymore. Now they do have circle dies. So if you've got a circle die, that would work also. Just put a circle die here and run it through the die machine. But if you've got a one inch punch, this is just to give it that little, so you can, uh, you know, they can see that it's a, oh gosh, my hands. Oh, that's going through two pieces of cardstock. I don't know if I can, I did it earlier. Hold on, let me get that back on there. Oh goodness, okay. <laughs> I don't know, it just gives it that little piece there that makes it look more like a gift card holder or that something goes in there, okay, instead of just a flap. All right, and I kind of made my hole big. I shouldn't have made it that deep, but that's okay. So let me grab my gift card holder again. I'm a gift card and stick it in here. Make sure that we can close the card okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's not, it's being ornery. There we go. Okay, so there's my little gift card. Yep, there's the score line right there. Okay, and now I noticed that sometimes this, depending on your score, this might be a little longer and it doesn't close as well. You can go to the trimmer and just shave off that little edge there so it closes better, but um, that's okay. It just, does like that. Now, that is how you make the pop-up gift card holder. Now we're going to decorate it, okay? So first of all, um, if you've got a corner rounder, um, you can use a corner rounder. I uh, We don't sell a corner rounder anymore anymore. Any, did I just say <laughs> twice? We do not sell a corner rounder anymore, um, but we do have this little corner decorative punch here. So I'm going to use that. Okay, but just gives that front flap a little interest. Okay, so if you have a corner rounder or some kind of decorative corner punch, use that. You see, that makes it really nice. All right, let's put that away. Next, I want to put some white cardstock in here. And so these two pieces here, and like I said, all these measurements are going to be on my blog. And where did my white cardstock go? Oh, good. Grab some more. I have an endless supply down here. There we go. These two white pieces are cut at, where are they? Two and a quarter by four. So two and a quarter by four. And actually this piece isn't going to be long enough. I'm going to have to get another piece. Okay, two and a quarter. And I think it is four because I think this was a four by five and a quarter piece. Yep. All right. So that's one piece. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. Two and a quarter. Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, sometimes I really impress myself. <laughs> there we go. So two and a quarter by four. Now I've got these nice two white pieces here and we're going to stamp and decorate them. I'm using the handmade wishes and the merriest moments. I, I love these sentiments here. Um, a joyful Christmas to you and yours. Um, oh, no, wait a minute. That's not the one I wanted. No, here it is. Um, this one. Do you have the very best occasions? It actually goes with this punch. So this is a bundle here, I believe. Oh, I can't remember now. Ah, hold on. Let me grab my catalog. Oh. You know, we have a new catalog out now, and that's all I can think of now, and I can't remember this one anymore. Um, <laughs> there we go. So this is Very Best Trio, page 68. Yes, it does. I was correct. Very Best Occasions and Very Best Trio. So these two go together as a bundle. You get 10% off when you buy these together. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Next, what do we need? All right. All right, so I've got that, and I want this stamp here. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas be merry, and your new year bright. Isn't that fun? I love that sentiment. Oh, looks like we've got some more comments. And remember, if you ever have a question, put a question mark or something, get my attention. Oh, hi, Susanna from Sweden. Hello, my love. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. I'm glad you like this one, Tina. She says it's a great idea and she's going to use this one. Yeah, I mean, gift cards, like I said, are, you know, everybody likes to get one, but it's even more fun if when they open the card up, it pops up. It's like, oh, cool. You know, it just gives it that little extra. 
All right, here we go. And I want my red ink. And I'm going to put this on the bottom one. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas be merry, and your new year bright. Oh, perfect. Don't you love it when it stamps perfectly? <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. Yes, very best occasions. Okay, got that one. Now, in the um, Handmade Wishes, we're going to do Merry Christmas. Where's the Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, is that it? I want to double check. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, so I need my Merry and my Christmas. Here's my Merry. And my Christmas. Okay, and then I also have the Holly and the Sprig I'm going to put on there too. Um, not using it for you. I'm going to use to and from. Okay, um, let's put these on here. The Merry and the Christmas. And if y'all notice, I put these on the blocks kind of at a diagonal. That way when I'm stamping my this line and this line don't get in the way. I don't, that doesn't bother me. I'm looking at the word and the edge of the paper to make sure they're lined up. Okay. Um, all right. Merry, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. We want red for sure for the berries, but I'm not sure if I want Merry and Christmas, both red. I think I want one of them black. If I do black, red, berries red. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So I need my black. Now I could have done it green and red, but then that's all it would be. Green, red, green, red. And that kind of, all right. So we're going to right in the center here, Mary. Very nice. And then close this up and the Christmas. Very nice. And then the holly berries. So here's the holly and here's the berries. And I need my green ink. Um, let's see, what color green do I want to play with? I am really loving the succulent. Um, where is it? Soft succulent. Yeah. I think that's my favorite color with red, that soft succulent. Okay. And so we have a holly leaf on this side. And a holly leaf on this side. Yay. And then the berries in the middle. Where is the red? Oh, it's right in front of me. Good grief. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. So Merry Christmas and may your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry, and your new year bright. And we just need some adhesive to put these on. So I'm going to grab that. Oops. Well, I'm not sure where my tape runner went. Isn't that how it always goes? Actually, I know exactly where it is. Yesterday, my friend came over and we worked on our Christmas cards together. So it's out on the dining room table. Don't you love stamping with people? It is so fun. Oh, my gosh. Yep. She texted me and she said, I'll never get my Christmas cards done. We have to do them together. I said, all right, come on over. Let's get it done. So we spent the whole day yesterday. All right. Now that could have been a little bit bigger, I think, instead of two and a quarter. But that's all right. It'll, it'll be good. And then this one. Whoops. Whoa, that glue is just coming out. Crud. Here, hold on. Ooh, it is just coming out. Must have an air bubble in there. Okay. Yep. And sometimes when you get a big glob like that, I just kind of like a paintbrush and paint it over there. There we go. Oh, it's still coming out of my tube. Ah! All right. You know what? This needs something. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Well, it's going to have the gift card in there, so... Merry Christmas. And then, of course, you need to sign it. So you could sign it over here on the side. All right, let's get that back in there. What do y'all think? So far, so good. We still need to decorate the belly band, though. 
All right. So now when they open it, okay, you ready? Yay. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love that. All right. Let's do the belly band. Now you need an inch, at least six inches, okay, uh, of one inch strip because that's about how much you need so it'll overlap. So let me grab, here's some scrap. Let's see if this is long enough. Yep, it's eight and a half, that's perfect. Okay, so I need an inch or an inch and a quarter, whatever, um, doesn't really matter, but at least an inch. And put that down, okay. And then, like I said, six inches should do. But if you want to double check, close up your gift card and let's zoom out a little bit. I'm so close. There we go. Um, take your one inch paper and, you know, put it on there. And then bring this up and you just need a little bit overlap right there. And so then you can see how long that is and actually that looks like six and a half would be better okay so six and a half i think i said at least six but you don't want it so long though that it overlaps and you have to um bend it again around the card okay there we go now, I like to seal it while it's on the card, okay? Whoa, hello, glue. And so I have it on the card, and I want to seal it right there, okay? So I'm going to take some glue, which I actually have some on this little piece of paper. There we go. And just hold that for a sec. Yes, Tony says she loves crafting with friends. Oh, yeah. Gift cards, like I said, I mean, even though, you know, people say, oh, you're just getting a gift card that's so impersonal. But sometimes they're the perfect gift, like I said, um, especially for your kid. I mean, if you don't have children anymore, but if you have children in school, children teachers, um, I was a school teacher forever. And those were the best gifts because <laughs> it's like I didn't need another candle or, um, you know, or another coffee cup. <laughs> All right, so we got that on there. It's nice and loose, but tight enough to hold it. So that's good. I'm just going to leave that there for a sec. Now let's decorate the front. So I love this um, stamp set. It's got an outline stamp for the punch. So um, where'd my punch go? Come on. Should I put it back over here? No. Okay, just a sec. I know it's here because I just used it. Hmm. You know, it's always in front of me. It's always in front of me, and then it's not. Hmm. Oh, no. Well, we can't do this unless I have that. Oh, it's behind my... No, that's not it. Okay. Deep breath. Oh, my gosh, it's right here. It was right in front of me. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Now, what I was saying was that this stamp set has these outlines here that make this punch a little more decorative. So I have this one, the lined one, and I'm gonna get the red out. And pop that in there. And the stamp stamps um, at a diamond design, okay? So put it on your paper this direction. Okay, perfect. And then what I did with the two and the from, I put them on this, um, okay, I swear, I can't lift it. I wish I could lift it up to you. I think you all get the idea, though. Um, the two and the from, well, it goes this way. There we go. The two and the from on the stamp already. Okay. So then I ink that up. And... Um, I spread them apart enough so that I would have room to write my name underneath the two because there's never enough room right next to the two, but underneath there's plenty of room and then under the from. All right. And then this part and this part can use a little decorative piece. So let's get that holly leaf out again. I'm going to leave that there for a sec. Let's get, because we're going to use that with the berry. Okay. And I can put... 
one here. Good, and then one down here. Mm, how do I want this? Yeah. And then the berries. So these berries go here. Oh no, I meant to go the other direction. Ah, oh well, too late. Okay, and too late. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. It works. Um, I meant for that holly leaf to go the other way, but that's okay. <laughs> so fun. Now, this is the fun part is punching this out. And you just get the punch and get the paper and just put it in there. And what I like about punches, so let's say you are making a bunch of, I have a book club I go to on Fridays um, and there are 14 ladies. If I want to make 14 gift card holders, this punch, I just punch 14 out really quick. It doesn't take as long as a die does. All right. Now we've got that. Now I want to make this even a little more festive. So this was my first one. Okay. So I've put the holly there. Let's do a little bit more. Let's get a sprig out. Okay. So I need some soft succulent paper for my sprig. Punch. Oh, that's designer paper. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, here we go. And let's get some, just a little bit more decorativeness on here. Okay, is that going to fit? I don't know. I'm going to pull it way down here. Sometimes scraps can be hard to use because you've got to uh, maneuver the paper so it fits. There we go. Okay. Actually, I got roses in that too. Okay, so now I can either put them both like that, okay, or I could put one there and one there, or both up here, okay, or we could go across the banner. We could do, you know, go like that. Whoopsie, you can't see. Oh, here we go. We could go across like that, or in the corners. That looks too much like antlers two of them together. Okay. So all these ideas and yeah, that looks good enough. Okay. So then I need some adhesive back here. This crazy glue. Okay. Oops. Yep. Make sure I'm doing this how I want it. And so we can go here. Oops, that doesn't even get in the glue. All right, there we go. Now it's in the glue. Whew. Okay, and then last but not least, we need to have it on the tag here. So I'm just going to put a strip of glue right there. Okay, I'm going to take this off here just in case. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I don't want to get glue on here. What do y'all think? Oh my gosh, I'm glad you can't wait. I can't wait to see what you all create. You all hope that you will post these over on our private group or here. You can post your pictures here on this public Facebook group. Um, actually, this isn't a group. This is a page. I know it's very confusing. Pages are public. Um, and I go live on the page because I want the whole world to find us. But our Christina's Creative Stampers, that's private. And I have to okay you to come in and you have to answer the two questions. One question is, why do you want to join? And the other question is, are you a demonstrator? And I just want to know if you're a demonstrator because I don't want to try to ask you if you want to join because you've already joined. And that's silly. Um if you're already a demonstrator. So that's the only reason I ask that. But other demonstrators are very welcome here. We love all the ideas from everybody. So, all right. And Jeanette says, the cutest gift card holder. And Michelle said, wow, that's simply stunning. Well, thank you. Thank you. And uh, simply, simply easy too. Okay. So one more time, let me show you how it works. Whoops. Come here. And like, and it would be nice if you embossed this or put designer paper or whatever, just, you know, jazz it up a little bit. I was just trying to Make something a little more simple here. Come on, get on there. It's not wanting to. There we go. All right. So there is how the, your 
person you're giving it to would see it and then they would like go, okay, how do you open this thing? Oh, okay. That looks like that slides off. All right. Figured that out. And then, oh, look. Oh, how cool. I love that. And then Merry Christmas and the little sentiment. So <laughs> don't you love my play acting? Oh, you all are so fun. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, uh, you can either do that. There's a link in the YouTube description or you can go over to the blog. And like I said, the measurements to this gift card holder with pictures are going to be on the blog. I'm going to start that as soon as I say goodbye to you guys. And it should be up there in a little bit. Okay. Y'all have a very blessed weekend and I will see you Monday night for Monday night stamping. <laughs> bye bye, you guys.